I bought a $200 gaming PC secondhand thinking that I scored the deal of a lifetime. But the question is, did we get scammed again? Can we rescue this nightmare and give it away to one of you subscribers? Let's dive into the chaos. We just got back from picking up this PC and we scored a killer deal. It was actually $1,000 for two PCs. I managed to get it down to $600 for the two. There is only one foot on this PC case. I mean, it's meant to be up like this. Now, I don't actually know if this PC works or not. We found the ad on Facebook Marketplace and like last time, we were scammed. So the goal here is to clean this up and hopefully we weren't scammed and we'll give it a boot at the end once it's ready to go. But don't you worry guys, we're gonna make sure this thing works even if we have to put some of our own parts in there because we're gonna be giving it away to one of you guys. So stick around and find out how you can win. If you are sick of this watermark and not being able to utilize all of Windows features, then head on over to whokeys.com. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro key for $16 or a Windows 11 Pro key for $22. Use my code IFR25 for 25% off with loads of payment methods. Copy your code from the user center and paste it here to activate. They also provide you with a step-by-step -step guide and 24 hour support. God, this case is absolutely disgusting. There is dust caked everywhere. Something has been spilt at the front here. There are so many spider webs at the front, which have also captured dust. And there is a family of spiders living at the front. This needs a good hose out. And then we're gonna put a special chemical on there to hopefully help clean it all up. I can't stop coughing. This is probably bad for the lungs. Let's get to it. This case has really cleaned up nicely. I mean, I'm pretty sure the spires have moved out. I cannot confirm nor deny the giveaway winner will have to let me know. There was a liquid stain down below and we seem to have gotten that completely cleared. Now, of course, with all old PC builds, there is wear and tear marks. So we do have a few scratches throughout, but it's not too bad and doesn't stand out too much. Now, I think the only thing left to do is to get this case as straight as possible. So we're gonna have to go and buy some feet for it. Off to the hardware store. So we noticed the spill of liquid in the bottom of the case power supply section. Thank God it has not gone over to the the power supply. I can't see any evidence of any water damage anywhere. So the only thing wrong with this power supply is it is absolutely caked with dust. And I don't really like going on the inside of power supplies, but I will make an exception for this because I can remove the fan and then I'll just get a blower in there and just blow that out to get all that dust out. Let's get to it. I know I said I wasn't gonna go inside the power supply, but we ended up going in anyway because I saw the amount of dust that was on the underside of this fan and all over the internals. Now we started by blowing all of that dust out and then I lightly used a toothbrush on all of the little hardware components inside to loosen the dirt and then blow it out further. This really cleaned it up. I don't see anything wrong with this power supply now. A few little scuff marks here and there, but all in all, the fan is completely cleaned up. It looks brand new. Onto the graphics card and this is a Galax GTX 9 80. I remember having one of these back in the day. It was actually my second graphics card ever. Now this is absolutely caked with dust. It's all stuck in between the fins, all around the fans, and I could see it all over the back plate as well. And I think this is gonna need a thermal paste change. Let's take it all the way apart, see what we can do.
Wow, there was not much thermal paste on this at all, and it is rock solid. It is in desperate need of a change, and there is so much dust caked around here. Oh, that is disgusting. Let's get the fan shroud off, and then we will try and clear the fins out first. This GPU has cleaned up absolutely amazing. I mean, the hair that was caked in this looked like my hair when I first wake up in the morning. I even got the earbuds in all of the ports here just to make sure that we got all of that dust out of there. And even on the backside, all of that dust that was caked in the middle there, completely gone. We even removed the stickers on the fans because we thought it looked a bit better with this sort of cleaner design. The question is though, does it still work? This cooler is absolutely disgusting. <coughs> <laughs> this cooler is absolutely disgusting. I mean, the smell alone makes me want to cough and I've got like a, a tickle in my throat. So we really need to give this a deep clean and get rid of that smell. I need to disinfect it. It's like greasy. The thermal paste was not too bad on it, but it's in serious need of a clean. Let's get it unclogged. I might need a plumber for this. cooler was absolutely incredibly packed. I couldn't believe how much dust was in this. Not only that, but it gave off an awful smell. And I swear it was giving me a coughing fit. Probably not good to breathe in. I probably should have put like a mask or something on. I'm glad that we got this completely cleaned up. Nothing in the fins now. There is a little bit of rusting on the bracket here, but it's nothing too major. Maybe. Quite honestly, there's nothing really wrong with the RAM. It just needs a quick wipe down. This is 16 gigabytes, 2400 megahertz, CL 15 timings, bit of spray and wipe, and those will be as good as new. Look, quite honestly, the SSD itself actually looks like it's brand new. There's no dust or anything on it, probably because it's pretty much had this cover over it, which is collecting all the dust. So this is gonna need a good clean. The hard drive, however, is more exposed. And as you can see, it is full of dust. So we'll give that a good wipe down as well to make sure that works. And there's a little bit of dust around the connection points there, but we'll get rid of that very quickly.
Storage was a fairly simple fix up, especially the solid state drive cover on top of it was the one primarily getting all of the dust on it. So the drive still looked pretty brand new. The hard drive had a bit of sort of grease or grime over it, which was making the dust stick to it a bit more, especially on the back here and where the connections were, but we got that fully cleaned up. So they're ready to go into the build. There appears to be nothing physically wrong with the fans, but they are absolutely loaded with the smelliest dust I've ever seen. I think there's like 10 years of gamer sweat on these. Now the fins are also very sticky. It's like grease buildup or something. So we've got to get these really cleaned up. These are going to be disgusting to touch, but it has to be done. Let's get them clean. Fans are all completely keen. You guys saw how much grease and dust was all over them and they had a real pungent smell, which I really could not stand, but gave them a bit of a blow and then we wiped them down, got all of that grease and grime out and then we had to get rid of that smell. It was terrible, but they're all clean now and ready to install. So here is the motherboard. We have lots of caked on dust, lots of grease and grime, and also evidence of spillage around the capacitors where there is a little sort of leakage stain mark, but we'll get that all cleaned up. The CPU is actually pretty good. The thermal paste is nice and wet, which makes me believe that in between that 10 year period, they have actually done a thermal paste reapply. So I'm not too worried about the CPU, but we'll get that all cleaned up with a bit of alcohol as well. I have found something. There is one pin right there that is just out of its usual place. So I'm not too sure if this PC was not working for the person who I bought it from, but if it wasn't and they were trying to scam me, this could be a real simple fix. Let's see what we can do here. My hands are so shaky. There we go. I think I fixed it. That looks good. I think it should be working fine now. Now the motherboard had dust all over it. We got the earbuds in there. We got the toothbrush in there. I could actually use that toothbrush later. Isn't that fantastic? But the main problem that we found was that one bent pin, which makes me believe that I wonder if we were given such a good deal because he couldn't get the PC to boot. Maybe the thermal paste was changed. Was the CPU taken out and then put back in correctly? We won't know until we try and boot it up. The CPU cleaned up really nice. There's just a bit of thermal paste on there. Simple to remove with the alcohol. It is an i5 6600K, so a decent little CPU. Looks like the back is all intact as well. So I think it's ready to be installed. Well, the whole PC is completely clean. It's time for the rebuild. Well, I think it's about time to see if we were actually scammed. Now I know we'll never truly know because we fixed that bent CPU pin, but if it works, we scored a killer deal. Now if this boots, we need to test it out in some games and we want to give it away to one of you guys. Let's do this. It didn't boot. I was getting boot device LED bugs. So I ended up switching the SATA cable around and I also made sure that everything was seated correctly. So let's give it one more try and see if this boots. Well, we've got something. That's it guys. 
Yes, we did it. CPU temperatures, let's see how hot we get. So we'll get in around 46 to 49 degrees there and we had a peak of 52 degrees. That was only on there for like one second. So I think that's a really good result for this CPU. I don't see any damage there. We've been running this for quite a long time. So let's move on to the GPU. So 1080p, 150, 140, 138. 157, 168, we'll go up the hill here. Yeah, still around that 160, 170 mark, 142. I wanna give this PC to a deserving subscriber. To enter, leave a comment down below telling us why you need this PC. For a bonus entry, head on over to our latest video right here and comment below who this setup was built for. Keep an eye out for our reply. Good luck.